Okay, so we're going to go over how to input an image into SolidWorks onto a model. Um, and then we're going to do some cutting into the image to create a 3D rendering of it um, that we're going to be able to print. Um, so we're going to use colors because we're, we'll be using the powder printer. Um, we can print it using our plastic printers, but um, this the color is kind of cool um, because you can do all sorts of different symbols you want to do, um, different logos that you like, um, or you could actually um, do an image of a person, uh, which that gets really tricky and difficult. I don't recommend doing that on your first go at this, um, but. Uh, I'll, I'll be doing piano keys uh, to show you how to um, do a basic sort of image design and print it out in 3D. Um, so we're going to go to a new part. Um, make sure that you're in IPS like usual, and you are. Um, and then go to extruded boss base, and you're going to go to your front plane. And we're going to create a square. Um, and then smart dimension the square. So this is going to be, we'll make it a three by three. And we're going to extrude it out a quarter of an inch. So exit sketch, and then we're going to go to 0.25 inches, check it off, and then um, we're good. Um, so then we're going to go to the internet and ease. All right, so figure out what keys I want. And how about just a regular octave? Um, and then I'm going to save image. So uh, once I so I figure out the image I want, right? I'm gonna click into it, right click, save image as, and um, save it on the desktop, save it somewhere that you where you know it's gonna be. Um, and it can be a PNG file, um, that's fine. Piano key chart, that looks good to me. Um, so now I can, I'm gonna be able to find it in SolidWorks. So I'm gonna go back into SolidWorks. <clears throat> and once, so I've already selected this appearance is the face, and now I'm going to import the keys onto this face. So I'm going to go into advanced, and I'm going to browse for it. So I'm going to, once I'm into advanced color image tab, go into browse, and um, so it's not going to show up. And the reason why is because you're looking for a specific image file, a P2M file, and we saved it as a PNG. So we need to go into, um, we can just type in all image files or all files if we want to see all files. Um, all image files and boom, our piano key chart comes up. Double click on that. Um, and then uh, SolidWorks is going to prompt you to save uh, this image into uh, SolidWorks form, save it. So now you're good. Um, I didn't want it like a, sometimes uh, SolidWorks will automatically um, tile it. If you don't want it tiled, I just want the, just the octave alone. Zoom in. And then you can, um, then you can go from here. Uh, so this is the piece that I'm going to be making 3D layering, just this piece. Um, and so that looks good. So I'm going to check it off for now. Um, and now I'm going to, I'm actually going to start cutting away pieces that I don't want. So I don't want this top piece. I don't want this bottom piece. I just want this octave range here. So I'm going to go into extruded cut. I'm going to select this face and uh, make a couple rectangles. Again, I want to be snapping on to my um, onto my square. 
and so snap on there and then I'm going to snap down here and I'm going to cut these two squares out so when I exit sketch I should be prompted to cut um, now I gotta be careful what I want to cut out right I don't want to cut out the middle so I'm gonna go into selected contours it's gonna have sketch two highlighted I'm gonna get rid of that so click it and then delete and I'm gonna select these two contours because I want those two contours cut away and I'm going to cut through all and check it off and I'm gonna have um, what I want right I want that octave range and if you look at it from the 3d point of view um, you can look at it like that um, so now I like a real keyboard, right? Uh, the white keys are kind of recessed. They're um, recessed in further than the black keys, right? The black keys kind of pop up. So I'm going to trace over all of my white keys, but I have to be careful. Um, I have to be careful with how I cut it away and how I recess it um, because if you put too many if you put too many uh, drawings in one part, if you have too many shapes going on, you can only make you can only make a couple different uh, cuts. You can you can't make like a bunch of different layers from one cut. You need to you need to go systematically through it. So um, I'm gonna make I'm gonna go back to my cut, and then I'm just gonna start I'm gonna start tracing it over. I'm gonna um, First, I have to choose the face I'm going to cut on. So I'm going to choose this face, right? So now I know SolidWorks knows I'm cutting into this face. Um, I'm going to go into the line tool, and then I'm just going to start tracing. I'm going to trace from here down to there. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? It doesn't have to be like right on every single dark line. Um, we're going to get the point the person who sees your part isn't going to see how you manipulated the image so um, it's not really going to matter and if I don't want this round I don't have to make it round I'm going to go like that go like that really like that so I can make my first cut now and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to just make this first key cut so check that off and then exit sketch and remember this is only 0.25 inches right so I don't want it too deep um, but I don't want it uh, too thin either so I'm gonna make it I'm just gonna put it down a tenth of an inch so a tenth of an inch and my first keys cut um, and then I'm just gonna continue from there I'm going to continue uh, moving around, um, moving around my keys, um, making sure that I cut it out correctly. Um, so, extrude cut. I'm working on this face. Don't click over here, right? You want to, you're cutting from this face, so I'm going to click this face, and I'm going to cut here. exit sketch and I'm gonna make them the same so point one is good um, and notice once once that face was broken right the face that we originally put this uh, image on once that gets broken uh, the key gets broken but that's okay for us um, because that is um, kind of what we want right we want that the black key to be sticking up and um, we have that right now. So to differentiate between the white keys though, I should have really put another cut in there. So I'm gonna put a, another cut in there right now. Um, so I'm gonna go into extruded cut and I'm gonna click on to this face, right? Um, and I'm going to 
cut a little rectangle out and fortunately we have this midpoint that we can use um, just a just a little little sliver of a cut in go into features go into cut and um, that looks pretty good so I'll go another tenth in and uh, it'll just give it some more depth that we can see um, then I'm gonna move on so I'm gonna keep cutting and select the face that you want to cut from I'm gonna trace around um, so notice how I'm snapping to that corner that's good that's where we want to cut from snap to that point and then we're going to just keep going around that looks good exit sketch point one so that looks good and then I'm gonna cut again a little um, actually uh, I'm not gonna cut that I'm gonna show you guys a trick uh, at the end um, no never mind I'll, I'll stick to the plan so select this face plan that I don't have um, okay a little sliver and exit sketch point one looks good and on to the next key um, so basically I'm just gonna keep going going down um, cutting out keys um, and then so what I want to show you once you're once you're through with cutting out all of these right is to add color so I'm gonna add color by um, going back to that appearance, that color wheel, so edit appearance. And then it automatically prompts to what, wherever you left off. Um, so I don't want to color this cut um, because that's the only thing it's going to color. So I'm going to get rid of that. And what I want to color, I'm going to start by coloring these two keys. So you can you can select things um, a few different ways. So this would select the entire part. So if I were to select this key, when I have this part highlighted, it's gonna color the whole part black. I don't want that, right? I just want the face of this key and these these faces, right? These, these walls to be black. So I'm gonna select faces and I'm just gonna go around and click what I want to be black. So I want this face to be black, right? I want this face to be black. I want this face to be black. I want this face to be black. Black, 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 black. Um, and then the back part. Uh, well, we didn't we didn't break those off. Um, so if you if I wanted to make the whole back piece black, um, which I can, I'll just do that. So the whole black uh, back piece is going to be black. Um, now it's on no color neutral right now I'm just gonna go click over on black and check it off and we're good um, so don't be concerned if the image doesn't appear to be black like right now it doesn't appear to be black right but if we just shift it you'll notice it's black the printer the printer will know um, the reason why it's shading differently is is the actual SolidWorks um, but these faces are indeed black, so don't don't worry if they look gray or if they look tan. Um, they're not. They're black. They'll come out black with the printer. Um, same thing when we do white. You'll see. Um, so I'm going to click appearances again, and it goes automatically to my part. I don't want that, right? So click it, delete. And again, I'm going to click faces. So I'm going to click this face. I'm going to click this face. I'm going to click this face. And we'll make this this portion white and that white and that white. Um, and so it automatically brings you to black, but you want it to be white. And 
check it off. And again, notice it doesn't look white, right? Because, I mean, your background's white, so that looks white. Um, it looks kind of off, but it will print out white. Um, the powder is also white, so if you don't add a color to it, it'll just default to the powder color, to, which is white anyway. Um, so uh, that's that's pretty much it. So to finish this part, I would keep going, but I, I don't need to do that um, for demonstration purposes. Um, so now what I'm going to do is save it. So the the format for our powder printer is a vermal. Uh, so when you save this part, you're going to go to save as, and you're going to go uh, down. And um, STL is the plastic printer, um, and it's it's a basically a uh, you can convert it to G code easily, um, which is what the plastic printers do, or uh, what a CNC machine would do. But we want ver uh, Vermil, V-R-M-L, and it's actually saved as a W-R-L, and that's the file format we want. Um, I'll instruct you guys what folder to save it in so I can easily access it so we can print it. Um, but that's the that's the file format, and then you're just going to click Save into whatever folder I tell you guys to do. Um, and then you're good. You have your you have your powder print ready to go, um, colored up, and that's it. Um, thanks for watching.